Oh, friggin' hell. I mean, how hard, hello! How hard is it to get a coat? You know? There's a question. That Volvo looks quite cool. What money's worth there, eh? Big, sort of, was it Burgundy or something? Um, I mean, I went into Tesco to buy a coat and I actually found one that I thought was fine, £25. And I've got it on. I mean, it's like, I'm so tight, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to wait for the sale. But the coat you've got is for part, right? You know? Don't mind me. And, um... The coat that I've got is falling apart, so I've got a new coat. That's the old coat finished. Uh, 25 quid. It's not a problem buying a coat. Yeah. Oh, it's just a dither in the Peugeot. Uh, it looks like a dither. -er. I've got a feeling this could be a dither. -er. So we'll... The original low husband. And so I finally bought a coat. Twenty-five quid. I got a coat for nothing, like a couple of years ago. No, a year ago. The car boot sale. And I bought, I bought a load of stuff, and it was in the most of stuff. But I mean, that was just lucky. You know, you don't, you don't always get free coats, do you? know where this bloody disaster area of a place <laughs> it's like the war on the motorist it's got to stop we need to fight back oh look at old Sab oh you can't see it guy with a beard on it oh it's a pity it's going away at the right oh you just can't see it it's a Saab 900 there's a guy in a beard with and it looked, he looked like this sort of owned it for years I was like an intelligent sort of person who like knew all about it and everything Because the Saab was a car that, um, you know, your professional types would buy as an alternative to um, a BMW or an Audi. But, so like BMW's sewn, sewn up the market, you know. And um, so I've got the couch, the sofa in the back, the, the chair in the back. I'm going to go and visit my pa. I think we're going for a walk. It's just one of these. I've got to go into Glasgow tomorrow morning. Uh, and I had to, so you try to get things done and you just can't get them done. But. I had to plan to be picking up the sofa in the, the van. And I measure, the guy sent me the measurements and I thought, oh, that fits in my bloody car. Uh, so, it, it's uh, actually, generally I look for things that I can sell again, but this looks like it could be good for my um, my studio. Because it's a two-seater little couch thing. It's very small, as couches go. Uh, so I'm not sure... Buying clothes is a very difficult thing to do. Are the poor people in the bus? What 
you talking about? You use I use the bus. <laughs> I'm just being big headed. At the moment, because I'm in my car. A push bike. Yeah, give them 1.5 meters. Is that 1.5 meters? Yes, it is. I bet you can't get a two-seater sofa in the bloody back of your bike. This is the fastest sofa in Stirling. No, it's not in Stirling. Doing 112 miles per hour. I mean, this car, I really like it, but I have to say the suspension, it's got air suspension. Uh, and it's got coil springs on the front. Air suspension in the back, so it's air, two airbags on the back, and ugh, it's like well, it's self-leveling, so it it should sort of stay roughly in the same. You know, I've never driven a Ford Galaxy. I really should drive a Ford Galaxy just to sort of. I get an idea of the difference. But this this was about twelve hundred pound cheaper than well when it, when I bought this there was a, they had a Ford Galaxy at three thousand two hundred and fifty. It was the same age. And it wasn't a top of the range one like this. So yeah, you can see why I bought the Citroen. Right? It's got leather and everything and cruise control and built in sat nav. It's got like a nice feature. One thing I like about it, when you put it in reverse, the mirrors go down. So you can see like your version. Uh, what else do I like about it? I love the interior. I like. I think the styling's nice. I think it looks better than a Ford Galaxy. The Ford Galaxy, I would say, is a better car. Um, probably. You know, I would say it's probably a better car. But. When I bought this, the car prices were starting to they were going up. So Things, the Ford Galaxy 2 litres the same, pretty much the same engine as this. Um, it's a good engine, the 2 litre. It's the one to go for. And do not, do not buy the EGS auto, semi auto. One reason is it's not an auto, two, it's fucking shite, and three, you'd be mad to do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly didn't. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!